are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 23rd of November. I'm James Spann. A new surge of cool, dry air dropping in here today, but rain and storms return before Thanksgiving. Maybe some strong storms on Wednesday. A lot to talk about as the pattern gets more active. Here we go. We have a trough east of the state this morning. That pushed a cold front through here late yesterday with a few isolated showers, but really not much rain. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s as we start the day over the northern half of the state. 37 for Haleyville, Cullman 39, Birmingham 47. The high today only around 60 for many locations. Temperatures below average, but the sky will be bright and sunny as the air is very dry. There's the watch warning map across the country this morning. Things are very quiet. We note some winter weather issues for the mountains in Colorado. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe weather expected. However, tomorrow... A pretty big marginal risk over Arkansas, Oklahoma, into the Mid-South, Memphis, the Mississippi Delta. And then on day three, Wednesday, we have a marginal risk from Illinois down through parts of the Mid-South, including the northwestern part of Alabama. Uh, The shoals down toward Tuscaloosa and Livingston. Uh, We'll talk more about this here in just a moment. This is the rain for the next seven days, and we are pretty wet down here. So our dry spell clearly coming to an end Uh, This is suggesting rain amounts between 2 and 4 inches for much of the state between now and Monday morning of next week. We'll have another round of storms uh, at some point over the upcoming weekend. Tropical weather, pretty quiet. little non-tropical low is east of the Bahamas. Hurricane Center giving that just a 20% chance of gaining tropical characteristics as it moves out to sea. The Gulf quiet, and we are seven days away from the end of the long hurricane season. Model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06E run, valid today at 3. Trough, ridge, trough, ridge building into the middle of the country, and that's going to set up a gorgeous day here. Sunny, cool, highs today, 58 to 62. Tomorrow, we're still dry. We'll warm up to near 70, the sky mostly sunny. A new storm developing to the west. That surface low is uh, sitting on the Kansas-Oklahoma border, and there'll be some strong storms south and east of that surface low. And then Wednesday, that low is over Illinois, south of Chicago, with the front pushing in here. And uh, we'll see if that can generate some strong storms. Now, Wednesday morning looking dry. The the rain would come Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday night. We're getting within range of the convection-allowing models, the CAMs. This is the high-res NAM, valid at noon Wednesday, and we're still dry. Showers and storms forming off to the west. And, of course, one thing we're going to have a lot of is shear. Uh, typically that's the case with these cool season systems. Uh, The shear numbers are very high, but the instability values are very low. Just a little narrow tongue of instability in advance of that front. And again, that will be advancing into Alabama Wednesday evening. So there could be a few strong storms with uh, gusty winds and hail, but that's not really a major severe weather look. Now, Thanksgiving Day, the front will be stalling out somewhere across the state. And the question is, where does that happen? And it looks like it might be near Interstate 59. So if you're north of there, Thanksgiving looking dry. South of Interstate 59, uh, we might have to leave in the chance of some rain at times. This is the European. It's a little farther to the south, suggesting uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden would be dry. It's a close call for those cities. But the southern half of the state will have a chance of some rain at times for sure on Thanksgiving Day. This is Friday. Kind of stick with the European uh, again Evidence of some rain for the southern half of the state. And then this is Saturday, and that front is stalled out, slowly moving northward as a warm front with the new storm forming off to the west. And this is certainly suggesting we'll have a chance of rain on Saturday. And understand, I know it's the Iron Bowl game. This is a big day for the state, but it's too early to be specific on the timing. I don't think we have any severe weather issues. This is the instability, and there's a little bit for the southern half of the state, but not much. But clearly, some chance of rain at times on Saturday. The high would be close to 70, so not a cold rain. Pretty comfortable day. And then Sunday, again, this is the European. It's got a pretty deep surface low that's south of Chicago, under 1,000 millibars, a little more robust than the system Wednesday, pushing a cold front through here. And that could bring some strong, maybe severe storms. Uh, The instability is certainly there for that. So 
Uh, at some point late this weekend, especially Sunday, there could be some strong, maybe severe storms around here and certainly a good rain event. So we'll be watching for trends in coming days. And then this is a week from today, Monday the 30th, troughing over the east and the front pushes out and colder air drops in. That could be a pretty cold air mass. We'll go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, December 2nd. Big old upper low just to the west of the state, and we're dry if this is right and cool. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Look at those numbers coming up. The mean is now between 3 and 4 inches. Some of the members exceed 6 inches for the next 15 days. And this is what we expect this time of the year. And the numbers really drop off uh, after this uh, next five or six days. Notice highs in the 50s and lows down around freezing as we go into December. And finally, the CPC guys are coming around to modeling. Now they've got a sh below average here. November 30th through December 6th, and I do think that is the right situation. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.